All right, new trailer for Sparking Zero, dude. So excited. All right, we're just going to react directly to it. What are these? Octagon. Those are all the characters we've seen so far. That's what that is. Oh, calm down. All right, this is Goku versus Vegeta solely. Oh, it's Kaioken, but that's okay. We digress. He's a great ape. Can we play his great ape? Hold up. We can fight against people as great ape. Oh, Super Saiyan. Big Bang. Double Super Saiyans. Let's go. Super Vegeta. There's the kick he did to 17. Or was it 18? I don't remember. Oh, no. It was uh, the middle cell. That's who he did that kick to. Oh, the destruction looks so... Yo, why does that look clean? Oh, man. Transform. Oh, because we're going to get... Okay. We're getting Super Saiyan God? I really didn't think we'd get that form. I thought they'd skip it. Most people dislike this form. The stage destruction? Did Goku learn Rasengan? Oh, there's the main intro. The thing we've been seeing this whole time. Super Saiyan Blue. Dragon Ball Sparking Z. Oh. That's the character select screen. But no date? Really? All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go over this. Let's go over this. All right, all right. We're going to we're going to take this frame by frame here. Budokai Tenkaichi returns. All right, no new characters. This is the same characters we saw at the end of the last trailer. Uh Frieza Broly, all them the dog from that one world. Forget his name. Holy. So we're definitely getting variants of Broly. Like his Super Saiyan form too. Alright, let's start this off. Alright, first off, this looks clean. This looks super awesome and super clean. I don't like the fact he's saying KO Kim, but that's whatever. This is what I want to talk about. Okay. I'm wondering if you start as Vegeta and transform into the Great Ape, or if you can pick the Great Ape to start with. Because if you can just pick the Great Ape to start with here, this is busted, broken, and unfathomably awesome. Because being able to pick the Great Ape, play as the Great Ape, is great. But if you do have to transform into it, or there's requirements, that could be a little saddening. But still, the fact that this is possible also means we could see Stel Max. There's uh, there's quite a few giants in the series. I just can't remember them all right now. Uh, but being able to play a Cell Max, like that means we we're, we're probably if they're adding this, they're for sure adding Cell Max, and they're for sure getting we're for sure getting Beast Gohan. So that will be super fun to play as. My question is, how are they going to balance these characters? I think what's on everybody's mind is, are we going to get Ultra Ego Vegeta? All right, we got all these transformations, but we didn't see uh, MUI Goku or even UI Goku. Seeing Super Vegeta here is cool. And do, him redoing that kick is just awesome. All right, Super Saiyan 2 for both of you. Dude, and my question is all this stage destruction that's happening, is it going to be permanent? Or is it going to be something that just occurs and then it's regenerated? It'd be cool if it's permanent, at least for that round. Okay, why does this... That looks clean. This particular frame looks clean as heck. Like, absolutely clean. That looks clean, too, even from watching Vegeta. Ah. Well, we transform. Now we're going to go God. Which is great, because God's absolutely beautiful. Alright, 
Too bad. All right, all right. There's that stage destruction. There's that stage. So, so we, so he knocks Goku way back here, and then he starts shooting blasts out here. Now my question is: Is this just a knockback area where, like, like say Goku got knocked back, now he's flying back automatically, or is this a knockback area where, as the player, you can play as you can play in it, and he's just happened to be dodging the attacks, and now these craters are going to be here permanently? That's what I want to know, or if they're just going to regen. It doesn't. I mean, it's not like a. I'm not going to play this game if the battle stage destruction isn't real. Not that type of thing. I mean, it's going to show it. I just wonder if it's going to. It's really what I'm all worried about. And you see, and then you look at it like back here, like it doesn't look like it all. Yeah, Goku's got a looks like a counter and a Rasengan, basically. Same thing he did to Broly. Super Saiyan Blue looks really good, too. All right, and then there's only one other thing I really want to touch on in this trailer. Okay, Kaioken. Freaking suit, uh, Dragon Ball. Okay. This is what I want to touch right here. Okay, wish list. Yeah, we got nothing. Right there. Right there. Okay. No, oh, why did you unpause? There we go. All right, so it looks like they're putting it in blocks based on the series, from what I can tell. So, looks like we have all of Z Saga, uh, Z Saga, Goku happening here. We have all of Z Saga, Vegeta happening here. Super Saga, uh, Vegeta, um, the looks like the uh, the super stuff. And it looks like you have. Um, this is, uh, Cell Saga, Sand Saga, um, yeah, this is Boo Saga. Wow, they really are. This is either going into Android Saga, because that looks like the Goku of full power that faces off against Frieza, but then it throws me off because Android 18 right there, but so throws me for a little bit of a loop. I think your typical Z characters, you're just going to get a full list of Z characters, just all right here. Um got basically all of them anyways right there i think you're missing a few they add videl then you got the stuff that they're gonna add later like gohan but then is there a movie section that's the question but at the moment i think the movie section may be over here because uh you got jaren you got future trunks you got the wolf guy i forget his name every time uh from the tournament of power uh, there's Boo, so I mean, this is all Boo Saga for sure. So you're gonna get uh, quite a few more characters um, between Gajit, uh, Vegito, and probably Super Vegito. But then the question here is, it looks like you can just straight up pick the ape, which is super cool. So either way, the game looks awesome. The game looks exciting. We don't have a release date. If I had to guess, it's not gonna be till 2025 when we get this uh, this actual release of this game. But I'm super looking forward to it. I hope y'all are too. Uh, I don't know what else they could really add. I mean, I'm, obviously, we're looking for a full characters. Um, there's 164 characters. Yes, I did stop this. How many characters there were? Uh, but this is 164 that was confirmed. This doesn't count DLC that they'll obviously add because Bandai and anything else they'll add in the future. But the game looks freaking cool. Like the stage destruction, the graphics. It's literally just my childhood relive right now. So. I am super excited for this game. This game cannot come out fast enough, but if I had to guess, we're not getting a real release date until later this year, and it will be for 2025, probably early 2025, but it won't be till then for sure. So, as always, make sure to do like, comment, subscribe. I'll be tuning into this game, giving you as much news as I can on it as it comes out. Official news, I don't do leaks. Not what we do here on the channel. I don't care for leaks. I don't trust leaks. Leaks are too far-fetched, and a lot, a lot of times just somebody throwing something out there. To give y'all factual stuff that comes from Bandai as we get. I thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.